welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 24th of June, 2023. The Bible reading today is John chapter 6, verses 5 to 13. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming towards him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, It would take more than half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place, and they sat down. About 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves. He gave thanks and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they'd all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. Today's article titled He Makes Us New was written by Patricia Raybon. As a travelling executive, Sean Siepler wrestled with an odd question. What happens to leftover soap in hotel rooms? Thrown out as rubbish for landfills, millions of soap bars could instead find a new life, Siepler believed. So he launched Clean the World, a recycling venture that has helped more than 8,000 hotels, cruise lines and resorts turn millions of pounds of discarded soap into sterilised, newly moulded soap bars. Sent to people in need of more than 100 countries, the recycled soap helps prevent countless hygiene-related illnesses and deaths. As Siebler said, I know it sounds funny, but that little bar of soap on the counter in your hotel room can literally save a life. The gathering up of something used or dirty to give it new life is also one of the most loving traits of our Saviour, Jesus. In that manner, after he fed a crowd of 5,000 with five small barley loaves and two small fish, he still said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over, let nothing be wasted. In our lives, when we feel washed out, God sees us not as wasted lives, but as his miracles. Never throw away in his sight. We have divine potential for new kingdom work. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. What makes us new? Christ within us. Let's pray. When I feel worthless, dear Father, help me see my new life in you. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name's Peter, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.